Okay, I'm here today to present to you MazeMap, our um, maps and navigation service, and how it embeds into Cisco CMX. The whole ID behind MazeMap started in this scenario, where we could see uh, in the picture. The girl there is called Sina. She was a first year student at the University of Antinou a couple of years ago. And during her first week, we found out that Sina is supposed to meet up at 50 different places around campus. Uh, and this is a huge campus. It consists of 350,000 square meters, would be equal to 3.5 million square feet. So was it hard for Sina to find our ways around? At NTNU, there is 7,000 new students arriving each year. And if you look in a global perspective, there will be 80 million students arriving at a new university each year. And you would have the same kind of situation uh, if you're attending a new hospital, visiting a large mall, uh, or other large uh, venues. So our vision was that we wanted to create a solution that could help users find their way, and that should be able to work on whatever kind of device the user had, whether it was a smartphone uh, or a laptop. Uh, to be able to overcome that, we had two uh, challenges. Um, the first one was the ability to make uh, nice and user-friendly maps. Uh, and uh, you can see here uh, in the upper corner, this is, would be a regular floor plan that each customer or building plan that each customer uh, or building owner would have. Uh, what we did, uh, we had two choices. We could either uh, draw uh, up the uh, maps manually uh, or we could do an automated process. Uh, as we started with a customer of our first customer for 350,000 square meters, uh, we chose the later one. So we developed an engine that is uh, able to interpret uh, walls, stairs, uh, doors, um, and extract the information that the user uh, really likes to have in a, a map. And this way, we could produce a user-friendly and intuitive uh, map for the end user. The second challenge we had was the uh, how do we find a user's position indoors? Because we want to guide the uh, end user all the way from where he actually is uh, to where, what he is searched for or his destination. Uh, and that's where Cisco and the Cisco uh, MSC or Cisco CMAX comes in. So uh, what we actually do is that we integrate towards the Cisco CMX uh, or the Cisco MSC, uh, and we pull out uh, location data from there. So you get the uh, Blue Dot experience uh, from your Wi-Fi network. Um, when we started off back in 2011, um, this was a pilot. Uh, and when we launched it, it was actually the first university in the world that got an indoor navigation service. But it was pretty, I would say, messy. Uh, it wasn't a, a service we were very proud of at the moment. Um, but we didn't have budget to do design and the kind of things we wanted to do. Uh, but it also gave us uh, a clear answer. If this service would be used, there would be a need for it, and we would be able to solve it. And during the first uh, semester, the usage peaked for around 1,000 unique users a day, which would correspond to around 10% of all students and employees at campus, uh, which gave us uh, tremendous feedback. So neither was the service very user-friendly or uh, didn't get you popular, but it did, way, it did its job. Uh, it made people find their ways around the campus. Uh, so then we started, of course, building the service uh, in a more scalable, user-friendly way, adding capabilities. Uh, and today we're, uh, I would say, at another different level where we're proud to present an application to the end user. Um, just a few of uh, our customers showing that uh, we're uh, this uh, would be the Arctic University, the most northern US university in the world. And your University of Cape Town would be, I guess, one of the most southern universities of the world. So we had a whole stretch. Uh, one of the cool things that happened just before Christmas was that the Student Association in the middle part of Norway 
uh, they ranked different applications you should have as a student in your daily life. Uh, and I know this is in Norwegian, so you're not able to read it. But uh, it is actually a ranking of the applications. And just before the timetable, it says Maze Map. So we were quite amazed that um, yeah, uh, the students uh, would rather uh, prefer Maze Map in front of uh, the timetable as the most useful application in the daily life. Um, one of the great things we see with uh, our services is it had a huge pickup. Uh, and, and together with, uh, with Cisco, we won a bid. Uh, we went into uh, the University College of, of Bergen. Um, we provided uh, the network together with the Cisco partner uh, and made the launch for the semester start. So just two weeks after semester start, uh, the service peaked for 4,000 unique users. Uh, and that would be half of all students and employees uh, at campus. So the pickers right is, is uh, uh, quite high. And um, this would be ONS conference, would be the second largest uh, energy convention in, in the world, next to Houston. And this uh, last year, it had 91,000 attendants. And uh, out of those, 23,000 used MazeMap. So, we, we know we solve uh, a difficult challenge. Uh, I would say the uh, things that make MapsMap uh, a success of today would be that we focus on two different scenarios. Uh, one uh, would be before you arrive at a hospital or like university, uh, you want to know where, which building to go to, maybe where's the parking lot, where's the bus, etc. Uh, and that we call a pre-planning mode, so uh, you will be able to see whereabouts you're going. And the second would be actual navigation to which floor, um, to which doors you're uh, going. And the second customer we actually did was uh, the University Hospital of uh, St. Olaf's. Uh, and they were telling us that this is a newly built hospital, and they were telling us that people arrived the day before just to know where to go for the next day for their appointment. Uh, we started in contact with them back in 2012. Uh, we said, wow, uh, here's a need uh, we need to solve. So basically, what our vision would be for um, an experience when you're visiting a hospital would be that you would get all the information you need in your notification, either through an email or a text, including uh, where to go. So we launched this uh, last year together with the St. Olaf's. Uh, so you now get a notification of your time uh, and including where to go. So you will know where to go. Uh, one of the cool capabilities of Maze Map is the uh, ability to keep up when buildings change. Because uh, uh, if you're a building owner, you know that there's quite a lot of changes in your buildings, both in the structure of the building itself, uh, but also in departments and what you call points of interest and where they are. What you often do is uh, we tie into the facility management system of our customers. So when there are changes, we're automatically exporting them to the map. So the user will always have uh, updated maps. Uh, there's a lot of integration possibilities with, with MazeMap. Uh, one of the things uh, I wanted to highlight is um, the ability to use our maps within other services. Um, if you're deploying a wireless network uh, with um, Prime and the MSC, uh, you would typically get this kind of floor plan from a, a customer. Uh, very often it's too detailed, it's got too much information. Uh, even if you want to do CMAX analytics on top. So what we see that customer requesting are much simpler maps uh, to be able to do visualizations on, on top. So that's one of the things we provide. We provide maps back to uh, the CMAX for the customers who want that. Um, other systems, uh, reservation systems for, uh, for uh, uh, rooms, etc. Uh, you could tie in the uh, map so you could see uh, the location of where you're uh, booking a room. Uh, you could 
displaying my Smaps map in info kiosks uh, and large boards. And I guess when, when in universities, one of the most popular uh, things would be to make integrations towards the timetable. So when you're a student, uh, you will have this kind of timetable. Uh, and if you click on, on one of your schedules, you'll see, OK, uh, where am I going? Uh, the room 251, uh, where is that? You could just push the link, and you'll be shown exactly where the room is. Um, so um, in just over a year, we helped half a million users find a room. Uh, the next thing for us is to show the next billion where everything inside is. Because what we're seeing is the Internet of Things. Uh, not only people will be connected, but also the things inside. So we now want to make our maps so that people can, and developers can add their own things and visualize their, their own things on top of maps that are always updated. Uh, this is just uh, one example, uh, but you had a couple of, of partners now uh, that want to, uh, want to be able to visualize, uh, for example, where light bulbs or light control systems are, uh, uh, and smoke detectors. Uh, and that is one of the things we're working on now, so developers, other partners can be able to use the maps uh, for our own purpose. Uh, if you go into a large hospital, you would probably see that this is a kind of environment where you have most connected devices. Um, and there's a lot of happening now with equipment tracking. Um, we have one customer now uh, doing indoor navigation, of course, but also doing equipment tracking and alarms. So there's a mental part of the hospital, and he wants to be able to trigger alarms and to show uh, the guards where the alarm is uh, in such an event. So that is one of the, uh, uh, of the cool things about being able to have a map engine. You are able to show the exact position of where things are going. And then again, with an integration towards uh, the Cisco, you're able to pinpoint uh, where that is. Uh, and as you know, uh, there are a lot of other possibilities uh, with the data as well. Um, have we just took out some uh, anonymized data of utilization uh, of rooms uh, at the campus of uh, Antinou. Uh, and uh, I don't want to go into details of, uh, of those subjects. Uh, so, yeah. So MazeMap, how are you deploying MazeMap? What platform are you deploying it on? Or do you have a set of collectors? Are you focused on only the mapping technology? Are you receiving data from Mobility Services Engine slash CMX? I'm just curious. I missed that part of the presentation. OK. Yeah. Um, Thank you. We, we're a, a map company. So we, uh, what we do is we provide a map service, uh, typically based on HTML5. Uh, uh, so you would have it on any platform. And we get the data from um, the floor plans of the customers. It could be through this uh, MSC, or it could be received directly uh, from the customers. Uh, and the points of interest we also uh, typically get from the customers, or we do an integration towards the system where they have the points of interest. And the location data we get from uh, CMX or the MSC. Does that answer your question? That's why I ask, and we'll talk. I don't want this recorded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 